Well, hello everyone, this is Jamie, and today I'm going to talk about how you can use Downrush without having to have a flash air card. So what I've done is I've taken the SD card that I got from Synthstrom and copied Downrush onto it, which you can see here, it's open on my desktop, just below the catnip. And so you can see it's got the normal distribution files, but also a DR directory. So I'm going to open DR. There's an index.html file inside, so I'm going to open that up. And this what this will do is this will launch the Chrome browser on my PC and read the file directly from the file system of the SD card. So here I am. I've got this little landing page which lets me pick which editor to operate. <clears throat> we'll first look at the Deluge uh, XML editor, which is used for editing songs, uh, kits, and synths. So I'll go click here and you get this ra rather empty screen uh, which lets you then choose the file you want to open which then gives you a browser that lets you pick which file you want to open so I do I'm picking song 150a and I hit open and then pow <laughs> it opens really fast because it doesn't have to go over the Wi-Fi link to the um, flash air card I can also take the opportunity to point out that we have a uh, display of the arranger view going uh, as part of the uh, 2.0 support that I've been gradually uh, following along, trying to add as uh, Rohan has been uh, uh, adding all these wonderful improvements. So here you can see the um, <clears throat> the repeat patterns. Um, each uh, bar or a group of bars has a track number in it, so you can find. Uh, which track is involved and the, the color code is based on the group number or the group code for that particular track um, over time so that that sort of explains that it kind of matches what you actually see uh, like up here but I don't have the I don't gray or dim things out like uh, they do in the uh, overview display here um, you can still look at all the sounds. Um, at some point, editing should be working again. I'm not sure today if it's if it's still working where you can actually copy and, and paste things. If you come to kits, you'll see that kits work a little different. Uh, if I open a kit up, it kind of looks like Downrush used to do, where it, it would, instead of having the the uh, wedgie open and show you the waveform, all you see is the sound parameters. That are involved, but you can still at least push a button and audition it. So here I can listen listen to, listen to my kick drum like I just did there, but it doesn't quite let you do everything you'd like. Because what you really want to be able to do is import an entire kit and set it all up all all at once. And there's a whole bunch of strange browser um, limitations that are getting in the way of that. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at ways of getting around them, which uh, will involve using a technology called Electron, but that's not going to happen for a couple of months probably because it's pretty complicated. Um, anyway, so that's what you get with uh, the song ed editor, but you can, one of the other things you can do, and this button up here, the download button actually works when you're in down, when, you, when you're on the flash air card or when you're not. You press it and it lets you pick where you want to put your files so you can browse around on your file system and figure out where you want it to go. Uh, when you click save it's then written back to the file system uh, I'll just write something there again quite quickly and you'll see here it's being downloaded using the same technology that is usually used for downloading files to a browser if we back up and go to waverly you see i went back and selected that and again you get a little strip across the top which lets you and a button that lets you pick which file you want to view so i'm going to go navigate to uh, some samples I have and then I can show you opening a file here and again pow it really comes up quickly because it doesn't have to go over Wi-Fi then I can go play like that and you can hear it's, it's working just fine likewise I can do likewise I can also do a download and store the, that file wherever I want it to go so now if you have Downrush and a Flash Air card, everything I showed you still works. The, that index file still there, and you can still open without going across Wi-Fi this way, which is kind of handy if you're trying to look at a lot of scores because it doesn't 
without the complicated transfer uh, time, everything happens much quicker. Um, so well, one thing I'll have to show everybody is that sometimes if you just get a browser and just use it the way it comes out of the box, all the files you try to download go into a downloads folder where people like forget about them. And that can be really painful if you're trying to use uh, Downrush in this um, uh, editing mode. So what you do to enable this feature, if, if your browser doesn't ask you where to put the files, here's how you turn it on. You go to the preferences. And it's an advanced preference, so you have to go all the way down there, and then finally get to this thing called downloads, and it has a little switch here. And if you throw the switch one way, it always puts them in the download folder. If you put them the other way, it'll ask where to save it. You want to have that switch, if, particularly if you're trying to do editing of files and so forth. Again, we expect this to get a lot better when we start using uh, other uh, technologies like Electron, so we don't have to depend as much on flash air cards or the, the Wi-Fi link between um, the, the control computer and the, and the flash, flash air card. So anyway, that's, that's about it.